synchronous and asynchronous learning. What is synchronous learning? A traditional classroom is an example of synchronous learning, where all students learn the same things at the same time and in the same place. What is asynchronous learning? Asynchronous learning is the opposite of synchronous learning, a student-centered teaching method that uses online resources to facilitate learning without requiring students and instructors to be in the same place and at the same Asynchronous learning requires asynchronous communication tools with types of communication that has modes, benefits, downsides, and its uses. It can be uses of email, websites, discussion boards and forums, discussion guidelines, blogs, web blogs, wikis, Facebook, Twitter, podcasting, e-portfolios, and threaded conferencing systems. Course management systems such as Campus Cruiser Learning Management System, Desire to Learn, Blackboard, Web City, Google Classroom, OneNote Class, LRMDS for the support learning materials, Deped Commons, Moodle, Edmodo, and Sakai. They have been developed to support online interaction, allowing users to organize discussions, post, and reply to messages, and upload and access multimedia. Asynchronous Learning Advantages Learners can study at any time and at any pace according to their own needs. Students have the ability to go back to their pieces they need to brush up on. There is the opportunity to review outside resources to aid instruction. Asynchronous Learning Disadvantages Limited access to an instructor and or getting answers in real time. Some students may struggle without constant guidance and instruction. Not all instruction is best suited for self-paced learning. Not all students have the proper or even have equipment, most especially in public schools, except they were provided by the government or school. Asynchronous Learning Roles of Teachers Online learning requires a shift from a teacher-centered environment to a student-centered environment where the instructor or the teacher must take on multiple new roles. The constructivist theory that supports asynchronous learning demands that instructors become more than dispensers of knowledge. It requires that they become instructional designers, facilitators, and assessors of both grades and their teaching methods. Asynchronous learning on roles of learners. The student-centered nature of asynchronous le online learning requires students to be actively involved with and take more responsibility for their own learning. Students are required to become proficient with the technology required for the course, use new methods of communication with both peers and instructors, and strengthen their interdependency through collaboration with their peers.